Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. We're here at Herman Park Conservancy train in Houston, Texas. There's a couple of really cool trains right behind me and we're gonna learn all about those trains. They may even let us take one for a spin. You guys wanna ride on a train with me today? It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. So come check this out. Look at this guy right here. This is a really big, huge train. So this is actually not that huge, but it's a really cool, exact replica of a train back from 1863. Do you guys know what was happening back in the 1860s? A little thing we call Manifest Destiny. That was where we wanted a, a railroad to go from coast to coast, from all the way from the East Coast, where the colonies in the US started, to the West Coast out in California. We wanted to join that together so we could ship things all the way across our great nation. And this train in you know, this is a one third scale model. So this thing was three times bigger than this. They use these trains to deliver supplies to build that railroad all the way across the country. It's got all these really cool, cool parts. So this is actually running on a 24 gauge track. That means this isn't as big as the railroads you would see going all, all over the country, but it's a lot smaller because this is a, a model train. It has all of the same cool parts. So look down there, you see, it's running all along the tracks and it has an air brake system. It's got all the cool bells and whistles on it. Literally, look at this bell right here. I bet you they'll let us ring that too. Wow. So it says CP Huntington because this is a model of the original CP Huntington. And the conductor of the train actually sits right here. It's got all these different devices and tools. You know what? You guys ready for this? What, do you, what does a train do? They have a really loud horn to let people know they're coming and to get off the tracks, right? Whoa, <laughs> that was a whole lot of fun. So this train doesn't have steam to it like a lot of old trains did. It actually uses compressed air for air brakes, the whistle, and some other devices. So in the mornings, they come in. Let me grab this right here. Check this out. So this is an air hose to an air compressor. It's a really high pressure air system. So they take this and right here, there's a fitting where you would attach this and it's locked on there. They would open this valve and fill up all these tanks full of compressed air. So we have plenty of air to use for that horn and those brakes, cause we gotta stop, right? All right, let me get this off of here. Whew. Whew. Look. That Cowboy Jack is no train mechanic. That's a really skilled job. I'm just pretending right now, but I better put this tool down because it's real important for them. Wow. And you know what's really cool about this train? I rode this train for the first time in 1986 when I was only two years old. Isn't that crazy? This is not the exact train that was running. Obviously trains get tired and they have to bring in new ones from time to time. But the Conservancy has had a train here for a really long time and it's a great asset to the city of Houston. Now, when you come to the Houston Zoo or Herman Park, any of these places, you could come down here and ride this train too. It's a really fun experience. And look, they have a whole lot of cars on it. So where we're at right now is actually the maintenance barn. That's where they do all of the maintenance on this big, important train. So we're going to actually get it out of here and take it for a little ride. You guys want to come with me? Come on, let's go. So they're actually about to bring the train out of the maintenance barn so we can start riding on the track. But have you guys ever got to look at a railroad switch up close? It's really cool. So these tracks, you know, they don't move, but they do have some moving parts so that the train can get us get rolling on the correct track. And it's really kind of a basic function right here. Now, big trains have these electronically where there's a station master that can make all these switches happen. But in the old days, it was literally just like this. Look at this. So this is the actual train switch lever. 
Now, if you watch these tracks, I'm gonna turn it like this, maybe, there we go. And see, now when the train was coming this way, it would roll down those tracks, but we don't want it to go there. We're gonna put it right here so that the train will actually stay and come straight out of that barn. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Now, why would they be backing a train up? Funny you should ask. Herman Park Conservancy actually has a huge project going on right now. They have 28 acres of land to play with and they're doing some amazing things with it. If you look all the way out here, there's a whole lot of land and a whole lot of things going on. And we're gonna ride the train right through some of that. But what they're actually doing is they're, they're doing a project called the Commons. And they're gonna make a really cool playscape, a bunch of play areas, playground equipment, uh, water features all through the park, and all kinds of cool stuff for us folks to enjoy right here in the city of Houston. Wow, guys, here comes the train and it's running in reverse. There's no engine at the front. Look at that. See, we operated that switch and now the train is running on the right track and that motor is pushing it backwards. This is where we'd all be sitting, but if we were riding right now, we'd be going backwards. I can see the conductor coming up right up here. Wow, and look at that engine running out those wheels so it moves along the track. That is so cool. cowboys and cowgirls here we are on the train we're actually riding backwards right now because we're back in this train all the way up to the switch so then we can start going forward but if you look around we're kind of going through a big construction zone and that's because of all the work they're doing here at the Herman Park Conservancy to make that really cool commons project happen they have a lot of construction to do and oh wow some really big excavators right over there See, they have to use all these big tools because they're working on 27 or 20, I think 28 acres total. That's a lot of land to work on. And if you turn around this way, you can see the conductor right up there driving the train and he's driving us in reverse. That's really cool. Wow, there's so much happening all around us. Like I said, this is really fun for me because I rode this train the first time over 30, a, a long time ago. <laughs> a skid steer right there. All right. Well, here we are rolling down the tracks on the train here. And you know what I love about this park is there's so much greenery and all these giant oak trees with the Spanish moss hanging off of it. It's really cool. Oh, wow. Hi. <laughs> wow. It's been a long time since I've been on this train. It's a whole lot of fun. Feel the wind in your face, the breeze in your hair. Whew. Hey, wait a second. Are you guys laughing in my hair? Okay, I'll put my hat back on. Oh, there's a lake right there. Look at all those ducks. Whoa. Looks like we're coming up to a bridge over water right now. It even sounds different because we're on a train bridge. That's really cool. They've got some bird houses up there for all kinds of different birds. There's so much to see here. He's blowing the horn for us. over really close to the Museum of Natural Science here in Houston. When I was a kiddo, we used to roll down that hill whenever we'd come here on the field trip. Wow. I mean, there's all kinds of different plants all around us, like all these uh, palmetto palms all down here. And like I talked about, these beautiful oak trees. Great picnic spots all throughout the park. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> I think he's doing that on purpose. So here we are right outside the Houston Zoo. This is where you would line up and get your tickets and everything when you come to ride the train. And we are pulling into the station. stopped at the station now let's get off all right cowboys and cowgirls well I'm actually gonna drive this train with my buddy Daryl here we're gonna have a whole lot of fun learning how to drive a train but I can't do it in my cowboy hat can I that wouldn't make sense look what I've got I've got a genuine conductor's hat that I'm gonna put on there it is. hey you guys are laughing at my hair again <laughs> let me put this on all right how do I look ready to drive all right let's go let me put this hat back here and now we're good to go I'm gonna step on up you're a lot shorter with that hat on yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right all right ahead. cowboys and cowgirls let's start her up Turn start her key. up oh check this out it's got a key just like a car Hey, that's interesting. There's no steering wheel. There is no steering wheel. We're on the rails. We can't, we can do it with no hands. Whoa, that's really unique. You know, everything we do has a steering wheel. It, it, even if it's just handlebars too, like riding our bicycle or a tricycle, driving uh, power wheels or anything like that, especially driving a car. But since we're on rails, all we need to do is, I guess, adjust our speed and stop and start and go backwards. That's pretty much it. Okay, I'll stop talking. So I'm gonna start the train up. Oh, that was really cool. We gotta start the bell, so push the bell button down. And now we hit the whistle twice to leave the station. All right, two times to leave the station. You guys ready? There we go. Push the push that throttle forward. Okay. All right, I'm pushing the throttle. Looks like we've got some ducks. We got a few. They're usually pretty careful though. But we can always get their <laughs> Hey guys, this is really cool. We're coming up to a road crossing, which means there's some railroad signals that go down. That means you shouldn't get on the road right there. Here we go, right through the road. cowboys and cowgirls now we saw the maintenance barn where they maintain the train but we didn't talk about this what he's doing right now is actually greasing the track you have to keep the track in really good shape grease helps prevent rust on the track and also keeps everything running nice and smooth wow come look at this and see you just smear it on the track like that and all day long the train rolls by and it smooths it all out. <laughs> I just gotta stop and look at this giant pig right here. This is really cool too. This, this piece of art is actually the portable Trojan bear. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> so I thought it was a pig, but it's actually a bear. <laughs> all right, well enough talk about that. Let's get back on the train.
like I said, there's a whole lot to see and do here at Herman Park. Right there is Miller Outdoor Theater. Wow. They put on all kinds of concerts and plays and all kinds of activities in there. And when I was younger, we used to roll down that hill. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of little cowboys and cowgirls out here. teaching me how to drive the train. This was fantastic. It was fantastic. Really enjoyed having you aboard today. Wow, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm usually a cowboy, but today I was a conductor. That's why I got to wear this really cool hat, but I better put my cowboy hat back on. All right. Whew. It's a hot job working on a train, working on the railroad. Hey, stop laughing at my hair. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, wow, what an amazing experience here with Herman Park Conservancy train today. We got to ride all around Herman Park. We got to see a little bit behind the scenes of that big construction project they've got going on because they're building that really nice area called the Commons for all of us here in Houston. And we got to, of course, ride this amazing train. I hope you really enjoyed seeing it with me. If you did have a good time, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. And that way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. Parents, grandparents, friends, neighbors, uncles, aunts, everybody. Make sure to follow Cowboy Jack on all the social media, Facebook, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. We got all of them. And that's a really cool way to connect with the show. And you get some really cool behind the scenes stuff too. Anyways, I hope you had a blast because I know I did. But until next time I see you, yay!